In a secret warehouse, Damien comes to see a gang boss for a share of illegal merch to sell. The boss thinks Damien's acting too twitchy and takes him aside to explain that he's heard there's a snitch in the gang, and when Damien plays the innocent, the boss confesses he knows Damien is an undercover cop. Finding himself caught, Damien takes out his gun and begins defending himself against the incoming thugs using both bullets and martial arts. After beating up a group that attacks him together, Damien steps back and doesn't see a car coming, so he's hit rather badly. Fortunately he's sore but still conscious and he goes after the boss to arrest him only to hear that when the gang learned about Damien's true identity, they also learned about the existence of his wife. Terrified of the implication, Damien rushes back to his house, but it's already too late, his wife is dead. Years later, Shimon is starting another class at the local school when he notices a student is missing for the second time in a row. The other teens explain this boy has fallen victim to addiction and Amelia, who used to be addicted too, tried to make him see reason but she was ignored. At that moment, Shimon's son Kamil gets a call from the missing boy's mother, sadly informing him that the student has been found dead. This isn't the first time this has happened in this school, the institution has a serious problem with illegal merch being sold on its premises. Tired of losing students to addiction, Shimon calls his best friend Damien to get his help, but Damien lets the voicemail pick up the message because he isn't doing so well himself. Since he lost his wife, he started to depend on alcohol too much and he got fired from the police force, nowadays he's nothing but a drunkard. However when night falls, Damien decides to get himself together and pay Shimon a visit to hear him out. Shimon tells him all about the problems the school is going through while Kamil overhears from the hallway, but Damien refuses to help, explaining he can't even help himself. Afterward, Damien goes to a store to buy more alcohol, where three thugs try to steal his wallet. Damien first asks for it calmly, but since they don't take him seriously, he immediately beats them up by grabbing things from around the store. Another shopper is annoyed by the commotion and gives Damien a bottle of whiskey just to get him to leave quickly. Meanwhile Shimon visits a warehouse at an address he heard one of the kids mentioning, but as soon as he reaches the door, he's caught red-handed. The next morning, Damien wakes up to see devastating news on the TV, Shimon was found dead in the warehouse. Because of the position he was found in, the police are saying he was the one behind the operation and that he finished things himself because he felt guilty over the loss of his student. Damien can tell his friend is being framed, so he goes to Shimon's house to investigate, ignoring all the reporters on the street. He gets to enter because he still has a few buddies in the force, and gets to comfort Shimon's wife, assuring her that she's right to think her husband was framed. When a detective makes fun of Kamil for having a criminal dad, Kamil tries to attack him, thus Damien has to cut in and explain he's just a teenager in shock to save him from getting arrested. Sometime later, Damien decides he must clean his best friend's name and gets in contact with a shady friend to acquire fake papers. Then he goes to the school and pretends to be a teacher that has come for an interview to take Shimon's position, which begins rather awkwardly when the secretary warns him not to apply because the school's too dangerous. Their conversation is interrupted by Principal Leshik, who hires Damien because he's the only applicant, and promises he'll be safe because he's hired a security team. He also calls for his deputy Agata, who will be in charge to show Damien around the place when he starts to work tomorrow. The next day, Damien arrives at the school and sees Jaro take some flowers from the memorial for the dead student, so he tries to make him put them back. Jaro doesn't take this well and calls for his gang buddy Mammoth to beat Damien up, but Mammoth is still a shy boy under social pressure and barely moves at all. Before things get to escalate, security leader Chmielski shows up with his men and sends the teens to the principal's office. He wants to confront Damien as well, but Agata soon comes to his rescue and explains he's the new teacher. Afterward, Agata shows him around and introduces him to their co-workers, including chemistry teacher Stefan, before taking him to meet his class, although Kamil isn't coming back to school yet because he'll need some time to grieve. The class is rather rowdy, but Damien immediately puts them in their place by taking a student's phone and not falling for their taunts. One teen isn't as obedient though, Frogface keeps bothering a classmate and ignoring Damien's warnings until Damien has no choice but to kick him out. Frogface refuses to go, so Agata sends Chmielski to escort him away. On his way out, Frogface threatens to meet Agata later. At the end of the day, Agata's at the parking lot when she's suddenly approached by Frogface and his gang buddies, who have stolen her car keys and now catch her with the intention of getting revenge. Nearby, Damien discovers someone has slashed his tires, and another teacher offers to take him home. As soon as they enter the parking lot, they see Agata in danger, and Damien comes to her rescue, easily beating all the thugs up even if one of them has a weapon. Damien does end up with a wound on his hand, but it's nowhere near enough to stop him, and Frogface runs away in fear. Agata takes Damien back into the school to bandage his hand and ask about his past, so to avoid answering questions, Damien teaches her how to defend herself when a criminal grabs her. Meanwhile the thugs take Frogface to see Jaro who is one of the many people that sell illegal merch at school under the orders of a mysterious man in a bike. When the guy comes closer and takes off his helmet, he reveals to be Chmielski, whose security company is an excuse to have his men on campus. Both Jaro and Chmielski are angry because Frogface owes them money and got into trouble for wanting to get back at Agata, meaning a beating is in order. 
Jaro asks Mammoth to do it so he can finally get over his shyness and truly be part of the gang, which he's only joining because he wants to belong somewhere. The next morning, Damien arrives at school to see his car being towed. In the teacher's room, everyone is looking at the security cameras, celebrating Damien's victory, and Lesnar explains he is paying for the towing and new tires as thanks. Chmielski is suspicious of Damien being such a great fighter, but Damien sticks to his story of just being a teacher. Afterward, Damien goes to the classroom only to discover the security footage has leaked and now all the students are watching it too. They're super excited to have him as a teacher and keep showering him with questions, including asking for tips to defend themselves. Damien finds the idea amusing and takes the class to the gym, offering a deal, if they can beat him, there won't be a final exam. Obviously they don't get to land even one hit, but at least they have fun, and during the encounter, Damien notices Kamil comes to watch only to leave when he realizes who the teacher is. Damien follows Kamil to the changing room to explain he's here to find clues and prove Shimon's innocent, but Kamil reacts by jumping on him, furious because Damien didn't help his father when he needed him the most. To Kamil's surprise, Damien agrees and explains he feels responsible for Shimon's death. It may be too late to save him, but he wants to save the students, and this makes Kamil accept to keep the secret. At the end of the day, Damien's car is back in perfect condition, and he asks Agata to go out for a drink. They have lots of fun together at a bar, but things get tense when Damien notices some men throwing slurs at two girls in love. Damien comes in their defense, and when the men don't back off, another fight starts. Since these guys are so drunk, Damien plays around with them instead of beating them quickly, putting a smile on Agata's face. Afterward, Agata invites Damien to her place, where they arrive already sharing kisses. When Agata goes to the kitchen to get some wine, Damien suddenly smacked by a wave of memories of his wife, showing the sweet moments and the disturbing end. Damien decides he can't do this now and gets out without saying a word, leaving Agata to reach the worst conclusions. On his way home, Damien sees Mammoth selling the merch and takes the chance to scold him for it, reminding him he has a brain and doesn't belong in a gang. Damien also tries to get some intel, but Mammoth explains he can't say anything before running away. Sometime later at school, Amelia sees one of her friends buying merch too and tries to warn her against it because she knows how bad it can be. Jaro immediately interrupts the conversation and sends his guys to grab Amelia, prompting Kamil to come to save her. Unfortunately he doesn't know how to fight and the gang members quickly beat him up, then Jaro uses him as an example of what will happen to anyone that dares to intervene in the future. When Damien arrives at the school, Agata treats him with cold professionalism instead of the camaraderie from last night. Once class starts, Damien finds Kamil's face all black and blue, but the teen only says he fell, and nobody dares to snitch on Jaro. Damien scolds them for not defending themselves, but the students remind him they don't know how. Determined to help them, Damien invites the group to come to his old dojo after class. The place is in serious need of renovations and that almost makes the students want to quit, but Kamil offers his support and that inspires everyone to stay. With everyone's help, the dojo gets cleaned in just a couple of days, and Damien puts extra effort into teaching everyone his best moves, being delighted to see how quickly they learn. At school, he continues to teach history and tries to connect with Agata, but she still treats him like a co-worker and refuses to hang out. In his free time, Damien follows some of the gang members to see where they leave their merch and gets the chance to call the police on them, now all that merch is confiscated by the law. Damien feels rather pleased with himself for this achievement, but he's not aware of Chmielski keeping an eye on him as well. During the next gang party, Jaro and the others agree they must do something about Damien. Sometime later, after the latest training session is over, Damien stays in the dojo to train by himself when he's suddenly approached by a bunch of men wearing ski masks. They're armed with sticks and better fighters than the average street thug, but Damien still manages to beat them all with his mighty skills, although he's sore and bleeding by the end. The next morning at the school, Damien notices Chmielski's security team displaying some serious wounds and finally understands they're part of the gang, but for now Damien only teases Chmielski without showing off his hand. Chmielski is furious that they're being played with this easily, but Jaro promises he has an idea to take care of it. After class, Jaro and the gang pay a visit to Amelia's dad with the excuse they want to fix an old watch, which they took from Shimon's the night he was killed. The poor man doesn't want any trouble and asks them to leave, but when Jaro is about to get violent, Amelia shows up. After sending her father to the other room, she confronts Jaro, who grabs her by the hair and demands she collaborate if she doesn't want to lose her dad. The next day, Damien arrives at the school to find everyone in a very dark mood. Amelia has accused him of taking advantage of her in the dojo, and now Lesnar is firing him. Agata and the students don't trust him anymore, and as the security team escorts Damien out of the building, Kamil comes after him to insult him for having tricked him into believing he was a good guy. Damien doesn't reply because he knows his word won't be believed. Meanwhile Amelia is so overwhelmed with guilt that she falls back into her old addiction. In the evening, Damien pays her a visit to try to understand what happened, and Amelia explains the threat against her dad. Damien feels guilty about this too and takes the merch away from her, but before he can do more, Amelia's dad shows up and kicks Damien out. Afterward, 
Damien visits Frogface at the hospital to try to get him to talk, convincing him to collaborate by showing him his own reflection, which means he's already been abandoned by his gang. In the end, Frogface confesses they don't bring the merch into the school from outside, they make it inside the school's labs. Damien rushes to see Agatha, intending to share this huge clue, but Agatha still doesn't want anything to do with him and kicks him out. While she turns around to call the police, Damien steals her school keys since she has access to the whole building. At the school, Damien finds the security guards are still around and has to sneak around carefully, hiding in a closet when necessary to avoid being seen. Once the guards are out of the way, he sneaks into the chemistry lab, where he finds proof that the merch is being made there. Suddenly Damien hears some steps and hides just in time to see Stefan coming in, because it turns out he's the one in charge of cooking. Fortunately Stefan leaves quickly to help the security men load the van, and Damien gets to take a few pictures of what's going on before he gets into his car and follows the van. By the time Damien makes it to the warehouse, the van has already been emptied and he gets attacked by the security team, but he easily beats them up by stealing their own taser and using it against them. Afterward, he calls Agatha and leaves her a message in her voicemail explaining everything. The next day, Damien presents the pictures to Agatha and Lesnar, who points out that the pictures are blurry and not good evidence. This is the reason why Damien didn't go to the police. When Lesnar calls Stefan and Chmielski to check, Stefan just says he worked late on an experiment for class and the security team helped him clean up. Chmielski insists Shimon was the real dealer and Damien falls for the bait, but the guards stop him before he can get violent. Damien is kicked out, but Agatha stays suspicious, so she goes to see Amelia, whose guilt makes her confess everything. Later, Damien gets access to the school security cameras and discovers they deleted all the footage of the merch being moved. Feeling like he's losing control of the case, Damien begins drinking, and only stops when Agatha comes by to apologize for not believing him. Damien finally shares his whole story with her and Agatha kisses him to comfort him before agreeing to help. Then the duo visits Stefan to demand some answers, but Stefan doesn't give them any names, he only explains he's cooking for a gang because they threaten with killing his wife. Suddenly, Chmielski shows up on his bike and shoots Stefan, but he only gives Damien a dirty look before driving away. The next day at school, Leshik asks Agatha to clean Stefan's locker while he has a meeting with Amelia, who has come to confess. In Stefan's locker, Agatha is shocked to find a hidden notebook with notes about the merch and keeps it for herself. A few hours later, Camille and the other students go to the dojo to apologize to Damien because Amelia told them the truth. The happy reunion suddenly interrupted by a call from Agatha, informing them that Amelia was attacked and now she's in a coma. When the group makes it to the hospital, Agatha shows Damien the notebook, which includes a map of the warehouse and where to find the hidden merch. Later in the evening, Damien makes his way to the warehouse, unaware that Chmielski is still keeping an eye on him. When he arrives, Damien immediately knocks out the first guard he sees then turns around to be startled by Agatha, who has come to help. With the map from the notebook, they easily find the merch, but soon they find themselves surrounded by Chmielski, Jaro, the gang, and one huge surprise, the actual leader behind the operation is Leshik, who has given up on the current generation because they don't care about their studies. Leshik taunts Damien by showing him Shimon's watch, but the conversation is interrupted by Mammoth, who has seen the error of his way and brought the whole class with him. A fight between both teams begins then, and Damien watches with pride how his students beat up the gang, including Jaro. Chmielski is running away so Damien goes after him, starting a fight with both of them armed. Damien's winning so Chmielski decides to rip some wires from the wall to try to electrocute him, but Damien disarms him with a kick. When Kamil shows up and distracts Chmielski, Damien pushes him against the wires and electrocutes him to death. Afterward, they go looking for Agatha, who has been captured by Leshik. The principal has a gun out, but Damien doesn't care and hits him anyway, instantly releasing Agatha. As soon as they turn around, Leshik shows he's still conscious and takes out another gun from his sock, but before he can shoot, Kamil releases a container of toys on top of him, now getting him for good. Damien uses the chance to recover Shimon's watch and hands it to Kamil as a memory of his father while they watch the police and the ambulances arrive to take care of all the young heroes. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.